every time that I can come into your space, I love the time that we spend together just because you are so creative. It's something that I'm clearly lacking. So um, You're very I, creative. I, I, I watch your videos and <laughs> on your workouts. And you, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I live vicariously through my workouts through you. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard to hold a selfie stick and do a push up. Just kidding. Yeah. Never happens. One handed? Actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd like to believe that I was that good, but I'm not. If somebody wants to reach out to you and mm -hmm. get some feedback on design and or construction, how would they do that? Yeah, they can reach me, um, you know, through social media at, at Steve Cedarquist on Instagram okay. or Facebook the same way. You can message me. You can go to my website, stevecedarquistdesigns.com. There's a message, you know, you can email me. My name, steve.cedarquist at gmail. It, it, I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. Just Google me and I'm, you know, I'm. you can find me anywhere. Um, and like I said, I'll help. I do. I also do like project management for people. I know that people are really scared to deal with contractors or right. like your investors, like new investors. Right. I'm I'm available to, to consult consult them, consult them, and you know help them keep the contractor in you know check. Nice. Tell them what to do. I'll go look at a property with them. I don't. I don't even charge to go the initial charge. I want everybody to have a fighting chance. You know what I mean? I don't. Yeah, I don't awesome. think it's right to charge. Some people do. I don't. I don't care. It's a little gas. I'm a little of my time. I'll go out to a project, look at it, and say, well, yeah, I think you know you're going to be spending you know sixty grand in here. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, I thought I was going to spend ten. I'm like, oh, you're going to do carpet and paint. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, right, right, I, br right. I bring reality back to it. You know, doing the show, you know, with Flipper Flop for many years. Um, I, I get those calls. I still get them today. You know, mm -hmm. people go, oh, well, I saw you do that kitchen for seven grand. I'm like, well, it was 2010. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. it was a long time ago. Right. You know, um, that was older episode. Mm -hmm. So I think having people be realistic, mm -hmm. you know, and so I like, I like, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm kind about it. I just say, you know, that unfortunately times have changed, right. prices have Cost all gone up. Yeah. Well, and also for dealing with contractors, everything's gone up in the right. construction field regards to um, contractors and, you know, their insurance, workers comp. Of course. That's all gone way up. Right. You know, gas is, you know, five bucks a gallon. It's, everything's gone up. Wages have gone up. I mean, it's true. It's true across the board in all industries. I feel like there's a cost of goods and and cost of doing business that mm -hmm. um, you do have to account for. And obviously, we have to pass a certain amount of that onto our customers at on all levels. You know, in in my world, it's the cost of capital and what we can trickle out to the the end user, right? Um, while staying in business or re remaining profitable, right? Sure, for, you got to make both a living. Sides. Yeah, right. you, exactly. You, you got to make a profit. So too. sure, there's always education. I feel like on both sides for any industry. So I, I mean, I feel like that's fair business, and people with a business mind understand that. Um, mm -hmm. What is next for you? What should we all look for from you? Um, well, I'm other we, than, of course, dealing with me consistently, dealing with you consistently. <laughs> um, I think, um, time will tell, especially with the economy, you know, I'm, I've got my, I've got my ear to the ground and I'm listening and I'm listening for the rumbling. I'm hearing a lot of it. Mm -hmm. What happens with this whole virus thing and how it's going to affect the economy. And then, you know, is it going to create a recession immediately? You know, we'll know in the next few weeks, Right. you know, um, I think that, um, if that happens, I'll, you know, uh, you and I will be dealing every day because I'll probably be buying, buying a lot of stuff, you know, and, um, you know, maybe holding under for a little bit, maybe just a little bit, see how things turn out. And because I think whatever is going to happen is going to be temporary. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be as long term as, as you know, the last one. I agree. No, I think it'll be maybe a year or two. It's yeah. just, it's just a balancing, you know, just people to kind of regain their a balance reset. and yeah, yeah, reset, but yeah. not to the extent we had it. That's my opinion. Yeah. I mean, everyone's got one, you yeah. know, I mean, no, and none yeah. of us have a crystal ball, you know, so I do in the back actually. I mean, I, I don't rocks. really, I'm not really sure I want to see it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, anyway, I want to thank you for your time. Sure. It's been so much fun as usual. Um, if you guys want to get in touch with Steve Cedarquist, please, please reach out to him. He is on every social media platform and every reality TV show that involves homes. <laughs> clearly working on more. Um, and thanks for tuning in. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.